Hi all, welcome to the benchmarking of this what I call spare part PC. So straight into it, um, I've run this superposition and valley graphical benchmark processors both without Bandicam recording and with Bandicam recording so you can see what the downshift in performance would be during the game testing more or less. So looking at superposition um, without Bandicam recording, get a score of 2929 and with Bandicam recording a score of 2792. And to be honest, that's that's quite reasonable. Um, frames per second, we get an average of 21 without Bandicam, Bandicam recording. With Bandicam recording, it's an average score of 20.89. So to be honest, that's uh, that's quite acceptable. So looking at Valley, without Bandicam, Bandicam record, recording, score of 2514. And with it recording, 2282. Um, obviously the minimum and maximum are quite high so you're going to get I would imagine some stuttering because the minimum is 23 and the maximum is 99 with Bandicam recording a similar sort of thing um, without Bandicam recording so what I'll do now is run some games um, the videos won't last very long but just to get an idea of what the performance will be on this system so on to Doom Eternal, I've set everything to low where possible and at the moment with not too much going on I'm getting uh, 60 frames per second but I'm sure that will change once um, the action starts so I'll try and get to an action area Um, you'll definitely be able to play Doom from 2016, which is uh, actually one of my favourite games. The uh, single-player campaign is quite uh, quite superb, and then I think the multiplayer is still active actually. But anyway, on to Doom Eternal. So it's not uh, not dropping too much at the moment. Um, it's not the most busiest of areas, but there's still a fair bit going on. So you're looking at uh, it's dipping just below 40, which is uh, expected. But at the, at the moment, if you want to play Doom Eternal, then feel free to try. I wouldn't uh, nudge those settings up anymore. I'd just stick with low, but it's still quite a good looking game, even at these settings. Um, I've actually got this on the highest resolution, so even then there's still scope to get that down a touch. If you want more stability. Right, so that's Doom Eternal. Right, this is CSGO 2, which is an enhanced version of CSGO. So I've set everything to low, but it's on the highest resolution, so feel free to experiment. At the moment it's not too much going on, I'm not very good at this game. Um, Mid-40s is uh, best you can hope for, really, at the moment, anyway, unless you can experiment with those settings. Um, so maybe nudge the resolution down a touch to get even more frames, um, which you do want on a fast action first-person shooter game like this. I think I need a bit more practice, to be honest. But it is playable anyway. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not too bad. It's livable, I suppose, even though it doesn't look that great. Could look better. Right, so that's CSGO 2. So, on to Fortnite. I've put quality settings onto low, or as low as they possibly can, including the resolution. And I've capped the frame rate at 30, um, because I think 60, there'll be just too many, too much stuttering. So it's best to have a stable frame rate. I mean, it plays all right. It looks okay to me on a 24-inch monitor. Um, I've got the resolution, as I said before, on the lowest. So even though it doesn't look great, it seems to be a rock-solid 30 frames per second with not too much going on. Um, I did notice every now and again I get a few 
few stutters so I'm sure with the uh, if there's a firefight going on um, you may get those now and again especially on the plane down uh, on the uh, the uh, travel down to the level and sometimes that can play up until things settle down a bit so there's no no other players that I can see at the moment I can see a few over there but uh, it's a rock solid 30 so if you can live with that then uh, Fortnite is playable right on to cyberpunk now I'm not gonna play the game I just set the minimal graphical qualities where possible and switched off a lot of the flags and the settings and ran the in-game benchmark and these are results so we're getting an average of uh, about 29 frames per second minimum 14 maximum 42 so you're going to see a lot of stuttering I'm afraid um, I kept the resolution on maximum so there is a bit of leeway there to get that reduced so those frame rates can improve a touch but I'd be very surprised if on this system this game is actually going to look any good or playable so that's cyberpunk on to Forza 4 I doubt this system will play Forza 5 with any um, decent frame rates or quality so I set a lot of the um, graphical settings to medium as you can see on the right and shadow quality is high so not everything is on the lowest setting but I did cap the frame rate 30 frames per second and target was 30 and achieve 30 so it's up to you if you want to try and uh, get that frame rate up but you'll need to uncap at 30 in a racing game me personally I'd leave things as they are on this system but uh, it's more than playable so that's Forza 4 So on to Red Redemption 2. Now again, with uh, these what I'd call high-end games, set everything to minimal and work your way up to see if uh, you can get a decent balance. So in the settings menu, I set the resolution to 1280 by 720. In fact, it defaulted to that. So there's obviously um, uh, a a test on your system that runs first uh, the video memory has not been exceeded so hopefully the game shouldn't crash being there's only two gig of VRAM on that card so after running the in-game benchmark getting a minimum of 34 and maximum of 37 average of 36 that's pretty good because it's you, ideally you want minimum maximum to be clo as close as possible and it seeks 30 frames per second which is good on this system so yeah give uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 a try and feel free to experiment with the settings okay so I've run some benchmarks on this system and you need to take into account that as Bandicam was used for recording that uh, there's going to be a reduction in performance by I'd say roughly 10% between 10 and 15% so when looking at the uh, each game's figures you need to bear that in mind um, I didn't test games like Zool or Team Fortress because those games aren't really taxing on a system like this so you shouldn't have any problems running those games I was surprised with the Red Deb Red Deb Redemption results which you'll uh, come to later on in this video so thanks for watching if you've got any queries on this system let me know and uh, don't forget to sub to uh, subscribe